Um, okay. I have a crash dump here. Which one? This one. this I don't know what version this is. This will tell me, right? Oh. It told me somewhere and then it scored away. Oh, this one. Okay. Not sure how that could happen, but I will protect against it anyway um, by just doing the following. Stuff like this can happen um, when things are deleted and then the, con the control for the thing is not going to be deleted until like, it gets queued for deletion at the end of the current frame and then so it might still fire off another draw before it gets deleted. Um, but then the underlying data has already been deleted by the time it's doing the draw. Anyway, I don't understand it, but this should protect against that. Uh, what's the other issue? <clears throat> if you have a block, yeah. If you bounce a block, you have it in stamp mode. When you right click, the track stops playing audio. It's not the track, it's the lane. Okay. Interesting. What on earth is going on there? So these are nice, now silent, these ones. Wow. That 
That is amazing. These blocks just became silent somehow. <laughs> That's a wow! I do not have any. This is this is going to be one of those. One of those block. One of those uh, puzzles to figure out. I cannot even begin to imagine what's going on there. It doesn't even matter where I put them. They're just silent forever now. <clears throat> That's amazing. Uh, okay. What is this? Input buffer? No. No. Let's see what's happening. There's only one core. Oh, is this uh Okay, yeah, this makes sense. Let's just have a look at the output, first of all. It is silent, indeed. Why would it be silent? Oh, I'm on the wrong... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the next one. Thank you. That was the wrong lane. Here we go. There's the sampler. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. Let's turn off baking and see if the the problem persists. Turning off baking crashes. So this is a more interesting bug for now. Why does turning off baking crash? Um, is that a consistent crash? Of turning off baking. Let's just turn baking on and then turn baking off. No, it's not a consistent crash. It was something to do with some other shit that I did. Ah. That's not easy to reproduce. Can't we produce that issue now? Oh yeah, you have to right click. No, it still doesn't. Reproduce it now. Oh, I did it. 
And now if I disable baking, then it crashes. Wow. Interesting. So what is going on here? I assume... Okay, this is just... So this exists, apparently, but it has no baked... waveform. Because I guess the baked waveform gets deleted, does it? So actually what happens? I can't remember how this... The waveform management really needs... I really need to have a look at it um, and rethink things because it's... I keep running into issues with like the life... Wave, waveform lifetime management is a big issue at the moment in Blockhead. Waveform list. How does all this work? It's not clear to me how this works at the moment. Hmm. Waveform render arrays. <coughs> Get baked waveform. Oh, this is just silly. I don't like the way this works at all. Um, I'm definitely just going to re refactor the waveform management at some point. It's just the the logic for like managing the lifetime of waveforms. That's the part that's wrong. It doesn't make any sense the way I wrote it. Um, so. Just do this instead. That should solve the crash at least. Oh, come on. This file's too big. Alright, let's try and reproduce it again. So I'm baking on. Do this. Bounce. Right click. Nothing happened. Bounce. Oh.
This one's silent now. It's so weird. Now if I turn baking off, it's still silent. That's interesting. Delete everything. And I'm left with this silent block. Very interesting. What happens if I like change it in some way? Nothing. Okay, so let's just see what's going on. Uh, here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gate. One, 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 okay. Try gate. Yeah. No baked output. So far, it all looks good. I'm going to render this. Sample data empty. Wow! <laughs> huh? Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. This is amazing. Okay. Still empty. Whoa, what is going on here? Let me have a quick look at what happens when you right click. <laughs> Uh, chop. Will it be here? I can't remember how bouncing works. Is it here? No. Uh, it here? Nope. How does this work? Drop samples? Yeah, drop samples. Okay. So on cancel, cancel or finish. No, this doesn't do anything interesting by the looks of things. I don't know. I'm really confused. Bounce. Right click. Yeah. 
This is such a cool bug. I'm so bewildered by it. I've actually never seen a bug like this before. I wonder what it is. Um, I'm literally just tr trying to think of um, what part of the code base I should even be looking at. So what I know is that at some point the sample data is being cleared. Um, so I can look in the actions set sample data. So at some point this is being called not that one. It should be face 50 set sample data. So there's three possible places where that happens. When a sample is deleted. Ah, when a sample is deleted. Fox using this. This might be it. I don't know why, but let's see what let's just see. When a face sample changed, okay. Set sample data. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so this is where it's happening. So when when you write when you start placing a bounced sample and then you right click, the sample is deleted. Is it? No, it isn't. I don't think it is. It might be. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will you start? Will you do a bounce? First of all, what's going on there? <laughs> the waveform isn't displaying correctly. But then if you right click, the sample is not deleted. What's going on with the waveform? What the hell? So many bugs. This is so buggy. This did not happen. But if I hover over this block and then off of it and then right click. Something happened, but it wasn't this. So it must be one of these other ones. This happens. Empty. I see, it's not the right click that's doing it, it's the hovering away from it. But then I don't understand why placing this on or like this. Why does that not work? Okay, so I start again. Drag a thing. Bounce. Hover on. Hover away. This is empty. I'm doing get sample data. Sample ID zero. 
Why is it sample ID zero? Old sample. Set sample override, here we go. This is clearly wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I'm setting no sample override, new sample ID, if a sample ID, then new sample ID equals a sample ID, else. I should revert back to data sample. Override sample. Wait. It should just be. I don't even need that. This is. St <sighs> Who wrote this? Uh, right, I got you. Old override sample is. Data override sample. New override sample is this. If old is not equal to new, we do that and then we do that. Okay. That's how it should have been written to begin with. On effective sample change, ah, okay. Get so, okay. Old effective sample. New effective sample. Like that. There we go. That bug turned out to be not as interesting as I thought it was. Assuming I have fixed it, which I think I have. So, bounce and then hover over them, then right click, and it's fine. Yep. Okay, that was a weird bug. How do I even describe that bug? Does that, uh, let me just check if that existed in the Patreon build. Which would be this one. That's a weird sample. Don't like it. Yeah, it did. Okay. 
Right, how to describe that bug? What was going on exactly? If I look at the old the old code. Let's say uh, the other one possible crash when turning off baking and then Sample blocks can become silent. I don't know how to describe it in English words. Um, okay, let's just weasel out of it and say in certain corner cases. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me add that to my release notes. So, um, possible crush and turning off baking. It was and text can overflow. Destination editor. Okay, this thing, okay, I guess I need to fix that. Ah, uh, okay, let's fix that. So the pro there's a problem where you should be able to immediately snap to the end of this block that I just placed, but instead you have to stop and then you can snap it on so that should be on layout changed
This was working at some point, so I'm not sure what I broke. Set situation. This is what should handle it. Oh, because I need a world update. Is that the problem? I need a world update here. Here we go. World update. Like that. Because the new block instance technically might not exist yet. I think that would just fix this. There we go. Cool. Cool. That was easy. Can't immediately snap to the to the same stamping operation. Hang if you attempt to open two unsupported projects in a row. Let's see it. Open. This is an old one, I think. Uh, this is fine. I catch this way. Right? So unsupported project version, fine. Then open it again. It didn't hang for me. I think I may have fixed that already, or... Or it was just, um... It may have hung for some other reason, and he, that's just... The report. Borinator, my man. Borinator. If you load a project that was made in an unsupported version, block it hangs if you then attempt to open another unsupported project. Let me test in the Patreon build. Oh, this is a, <laughs> this is supported. I need an older ver older file like this one. Oh, okay. So I think this might be fixed. Let's see if I open an actual file, then open an unsupported one. We throw this exception and it doesn't hang. So I, I think I fixed it. I don't know why. I did make change. I, I made quite a lot of changes to 
project loading and saving so I guess I fixed it um, let's say possible hang to load Multiple copied receive buses in the same lane as their send bus corrupts the send bus. And there's a video. Multiple copied receive buses in the same lane as their send bus corrupts the send bus. The receive bus must be copied or cloned. The receive bus must be in the same lane as their send bus. Can take one or eight, one to eight copies for the bug to occur. The receive bus and samplers have buffed the send bus. Can also be corrupted, frozen until the send bus is deleted. Okay. The copy. We said it, it could take multiple before it were before it happens. Again, this might be something that I have inadvertently fixed so let's see if I can reprodu reproduce it in the patreon build What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I can't reproduce it. Oh! Okay. Let me see if I can mirror my actions. Delete. OK, 
Okay, and I may have inadvertently fixed it somehow. It seemed like maybe it was a problem with... It might have been a problem related to the baking graph. Oh, I got a crash. Okay. Nine five one. So nine five one doesn't exist. Oh dear. A dependent is a receive dependent. What does that mean? A dependent. Right, so a dependent of the sampler is a receive. But it doesn't exist. This has 13 dependents. That doesn't seem right. Oh, this is dependence of the send. Okay, right. There is a problem here. I don't know if it's related to the, the bug that was reported though. Interesting. Let's have a look. <laughs> Here. Erase core. When a core is erased, erase core. I should update the baking graph at least. Baking graph arrays. Seems like that's not. Happening. Baking graph arrays. Let's see what's going on. Send, receive. <clears throat> when I delete this receive, we should remove it from the baking graph. And it should no longer be considered as a pendant block of this send. So delete. Let me get to here. Go. Oops, I accidentally skipped past. Input. Arrays. Dependencies, arrays dependent. Where was the bit? It was here. Interesting. Is this happening here as well? I assume so. 
I think if I just send, if I just set up this, delete the receive. No, it has to actually be involved in some kind of. No, this is something I've introduced now. It looks like in the current build. So this is unrelated. <sighs> okay. Let's try to understand what's happening. So I assume I can just reproduce this by going send, receive, do that, delete, and then drag this. No. Oh. So this will crash. Yeah. I don't understand why dragging it the first time didn't didn't trigger the same problem. Send receive. Do that. Delete this, drag, drag, drag. What did I do? Oh. But it has, we can see it has dependence. Which it shouldn't do. Because this should remove it as a dependent. So I don't understand. I don't understand why this would be happening now. So just to confirm, okay, that's an easy way to reproduce it. Send, receive. Delete the receive. And then go... Oh, I missed it already. Send... Wait, why... Why is it erasing anything from a... Why is it erasing things from the baking graph? I'm adding things. This is weird. Raise core, set location, core has no lane, is that what's going on? It starts off with no lane maybe. What? <laughs> what's going on? What? I guess that's fine. It's not a big deal. Right, erase. I don't understand why I'm stepping over, but for some reason it jumps into here. Weird. So I have one dependency. No, one de Oh. Oh, this is the input node. Okay, that won't do anything, but this one will. So I have one dependency, which is the send block. And so we should er erase the dependent Okay, size one. <laughs> I 
What? <laughs> Huh? I raise Oh dependence Erase dependent M dependence Yeah, I'm erasing this dependent from this. Oh, right, right. I, okay, I understand. So that is right. I can't view it because this data structure is ins inscrutable, but... Okay. <sighs> right, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I don't understand. Actually, this is weird. Erase dependent. I'm erasing this dependent from this dependent C. Erase dependent. So we set dependence dependence. Erase this. So what's the problem? I think this is weird. It seems to be a raising. I don't I get what the problem is. Hold on, hold on. Let me write uh, validation. So to the one that we just erased.
Okay. <laughs> what? Baking craft dependence, find. Size one. It's got a thing in it. Node. Node eight one two. Eight one two is this one, yeah. This is so weird. Delete. So eight one six is being deleted from the graph. Eight one two still has a thing in it, even though we deleted it. This is a big problem. <laughs> What is going on here? This is weird. So, yeah, yeah. So send is eight one two. Receive eight one six. I'm just looking down here by the way in the bottom right when I hover over these it tells me the IDs. Eight one six, eight one two, so the receiver is eight one six. Delete eight one six. Oh oh yeah 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 no de yeah the depend No wait what hold on hold on Oh. What? Oh, I didn't connect it. <laughs> I didn't connect it. Sent. Receive. Connect. 812, 816, so delete 816. No, what? It doesn't even have that dependency. It doesn't even have the dependency. How does that make sense? This doesn't make any sense. Um, So this should happen when I set the source. Send. When I set the source, this should happen, yeah. So this one should do something, add dependencies to the output node. What do we have here? Yeah, one dependency. So now we have one dependency right there. I can see it. I can see it. So why, when it's deleted, do I not have any dependencies anymore?
I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Sent. Receive. Something's happening here or here. Let's just put points in all of these. Let's see what happens when I set the source. Bang. Okay, nothing. Uh, I should put break points here instead. So add dependencies, yes, so it's not going anywhere. Delete. Erase dependent. What? No, it's happening now. What? Oh, I was looking at the wrong node. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot that this first one is not going to do either one, and then the second one does something. Okay. Now I understand. So this apparently is erasing receive dependent from the send. I can see it happening. It's happening. I can see it right there. And then there's literally no dependence that exists in the entire graph. So it doesn't even do the assert because there's no need. So at some point, if I just continue, ah, what's going on here? It's getting added back. Cool. <laughs> That's really cool. So the receive has just been deleted. But then it, the send is seeing it and just adding it back immediately. Find input dependence. Let's see, let's see it. This may actually be related to that bug that was reported then. Let's see what's going on. So we do this. Delete. Then we find dependence or send input. It shouldn't find any, but it is finding one, it seems like. Receivers. It has a receiver. It has 816, which has just been deleted. So this receivers list is not being updated. The receivers list... We sh this should all be dealt with in here. I don't see anything happening. 
Oh, look. This is very confusing, but I... Okay, do I have that? Let's see, model. What do we have uh, in the receive state? Source ID. Yeah. We have it. This is not necessary. Uh, yeah. Let's separate these into separate functions. Because these immutable data structures are bad enough um, when it comes to updating them. I don't really want that much stuff in the same function. So on send core erasing erasing or on Erasing send core. Okay. And on erasing receive call. I think the reason this wasn't necessary previously is because I was actually just passing in another This seems like it was always would have been an issue then. Hold on. Uh, I need to erase it. Hold on. Receivers. Where is this? Receivers. Add receiver, arrays receiver. Ah, yeah. The only place that receiver is arrays is there. I don't know at what point this broke, but I think it was a while back. But nobody ever uses send and receive blocks for anything, so that's why. That's why it wasn't reported or noticed. Um, yeah, the raise receiver.
Okay. That should solve that issue at least. We'll see if it solves the other issue, although I haven't actually reproduced the other issue in the current build yet. I managed to reproduce it in the Patreon build. Let's see if I can do it again. So it was something like create a send and then you create a receive and then you copy the receive hasn't happened yet copy it again hasn't happened copy 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 now it's happened so eventually it just happens if you create, keep creating copies so I'll try and reproduce that in my new build Oh yeah, I have to move here. Uh, so now this should be fixed. Good. Copy. Copy. Copy, copy, copy. It seems to be fixed. Okay, I'm going to say that's fixed. I don't know if I fixed it just now with the change that I made or if it was just fixed at some point accidentally. Or it could be that I'm just failing to reproduce it. But uh, Let's tentatively claim that it's fixed. Um, and see, let's just wait and see. Um, Okay, this list is empty now. Um, let 
This was fixed. Fixing it. Uh, this is the same as this one. Uh, okay. Now let's go back to this gentleman. Adding a bunch of extra block references after renaming. I don't know what that means. After renaming. What does he mean? Seems to be adding a bunch of extra block references after renaming. Okay, uh, this crash I looked at already. Um, this one we looked at earlier. Um, are there any bugs that I missed? Okay, I think I'm up to date with bug fixes. So I'm just going to be doing more testing offline now. See if I can find more problems. Okay, I'm going to have lunch.